about the, the BB Plus? BB Plus is... Um, You've been a, using it for how long? Uh, probably about five years now. Um, and the litmus test for me is like, you know, how's it going to sound through a stark, clean Fender Twin Reverb, mm -hmm. right? You know, I had like 20 different overdrive pedals stacked up, just went to, you know, one of the guitar stores, something like that, got every overdrive pedal that they had under the sun, including some that I had owned at the time, and just stacked them all up. And the BB-1, just in terms of versatility and playability, you can get a lot of different sounds out of it. It feels good. It's got, it's got a compressor in it. Uh, with with two different knee settings so that you can get you know like a fatter sound and then the ability to um, be able to switch the signal uh, the signal path between um, channels A and B you can run channel A into B and B into A um, with just a little switch uh, is also really 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 helpful you can sort of get fuzz tones and you don't have to worry about like uh, switching your switching your volumes, or you can use it as um, you can use it as a rhythm and a lead, which is usually what I do. There's enough of the um, of the clean signal that's blended in underneath mm -hmm. to where you can you can you can use it kind of like a tube screamer if you wanted to, and and push the front end of an amp, and then when you uh, flick the compressor knee settings it sort of gets rid of a little bit of that clean signal and turns it more into an overdrive. So if you send it into a super clean preamp or something like that, mm -hmm. you have more of, a, of an overdrive with, with a little bit of squish to it too. So it's been very helpful. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about what, what's the, the stuff we do with Andy and other projects. So with Andy, um, that gig is a lot of fun, man. We... Andy we, Grammer, that is. Andy Grammer, yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, it's got the uh, single out right now that's doing really well called Honey, I'm Good. So check that out. Anyway, that gig is a lot of fun. We dance around so much on stage. We're jumping around like literally our bass player does a backflip at one point during the show. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous um, and awesome. It's one of those situations where um, as far as guitar gear goes, kind of less is more. Since we're dancing around and performing and jumping around so much, a lot of what I do is, you know, on my guitar. You know, volume, pickup switching, playing dynamics and stuff like that to where I'll like, I kind of have to leave things set, set on my pedal board a right. certain way. And, you can't um, just dance around and run to the pedal board and do things and then go <laughs> back again and run around. You know, it's, it's funny that you say that because we have one song in particular that has a ton of choreography. I mean, there's a, there's a step for every beat uh -huh. of, the, of the whole song, right? And like during the chorus, I go from uh, whatever, a really simple sound during, during, the, uh, during the verses and then during the chorus, I've got like, you know, octaves and delays with reverbs and I've got to like switch an expression pedal so there's like five switches that I have to do in like in the middle of dancing <laughs> in like a one bar phrase and then like pick up with the rest of the guys so it's 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 pretty funny it's cool to have something reliable that you have and then don't have to worry about tweaking the tones or anything like that exactly mm -hmm. 